hello everyone welcome to the lecture video today we are going to see how to make word stress and its word shift and how they are important what is the stress how do we identify this stress and why it is important uh, using uh, stress in a word is very important it is not tension it is uh, word stress so at certain uh, point we stress a word sometimes we don't stress a word so uh, um, if you find out every word has a rhythm so we stress a first word or a first syllable or second syllable so that's how its rhythm differs that is how in fact the native speaker and the second language speaker differ so stress word stress is very important to speak clearly so it is very important to learn properly so in this lecture video we are going to learn uh, word stress uh, okay how this stress is marked the stress is marked if you see in dictionary the stress is marked as a small dash in the words um, either in the beginning stress may occur uh, in the beginning or in the middle of the word not at the end of the word and um, we don't usually stress small vowel sounds, especially like uh, e or uh, aspirated uh, sounds like f. So these are sounds; they are not stressed often because they are. Uh, they don't have a long syllable so we are we don't stress them so there are so many rules and regulation for the stress let's go and check them one by one rule number one so the stress on the first syllable okay rule number one before this uh, we have monosyllable word okay they are uh, not stressed at all because it is only one syllable word so we don't stress them but in case if you want to emphasize the word take for example it is my pen in my only i sorry my it has two syllable sorry two sounds um i is a single syllable word in this uh, word we don't stress and let's take for example i went to the shop here i is not stressed because uh, it is one syllable word we don't stress them but uh, if you want to emphasize i in a certain for point example i want to write the exam here i is stressed it is because we want to emphasize the word in this case uh, monosyllable words are uh, stressed okay so uh, stress on first syllable for um, two syllable words take for example they are all stressed uh, on long vowel sounds when you have a diphthong it is stressed except o uh, consonant accent look at the examples long vowel uh, how long vowels are stressed a a word here we have two syllable word a word so here a uh, this a uh, is the smallest person this this a uh, is never stressed at all in english so can um, keep it in mind this a uh, is never stressed in uh, english words at all so a uh, word here o oh, is a long vowel sound so we stress this syllable whenever you have long wall sound in a syllable we stress that word okay naked sorry we stress that syllable g port okay here o again is a long syllable so t port the uh, stress falls on the second syllable look at how stress is marked the stress is marked by a small dash on the second syllable okay look at this one miss lead here miss it has a small ball sound but lead is a long ball sound so we stress lead okay 
and also keep one thing in mind whenever we have prefixes or suffixes okay those prefixes are never stressed look at this a uh, is a prefix g is a prefix miss is a prefix we don't stress prefix or suffix at all now diphthongs or stress whenever you have diphthongs in a syllable that syllable is stress at wise okay here i is a diphthong okay what is a diphthong diphthong is a combination of two wall sound so here i uh, is a diphthong so y second syllable is stressed compose o's okay compose here second syllable is stressed reply okay here again i is a uh, diphthong so the second syllable is stressed now consonant cluster what is this consonant cluster so i have already taught you in the class what is a consonant cluster so look at the syllable structure here okay the first sound is a vowel sound so it is v and the second sound is consonant sound it is c the third sound is uh, a it's a vowel sound so v again the next two sounds are n and g are consonant sounds so when we have two consonant sounds one after the other it is called as consonant cluster so when you have consonant cluster in a syllable in a single syllable it is that syllable is stressed okay when in two let um, in a in a in a word that has two syllable two syllables consonant cluster syllable is stressed okay as sent a sent here sent has consonant sorry uh consonant cluster so we stress this attract okay attract here a uh, is a uh a small song tract okay it has two consonant cluster so it is stressed okay look at the next uh examples in two syllable words nouns and adjectives take stress on the first syllable but verbs at the second syllable if it is in two syllable word if it is a noun or an adjective it is stressed in the beginning but if it is a word it is stressed at the second syllable look at this absent okay if it is a noun if you say uh, if you use absent as a noun it must be absent but if it is a verb it is absent the, because the syllable for sorry the stress falls on the second syllable look at this word progress if it is a noun it is progress if it is a adverb sorry it is a verb it the stress falls on the second syllable so it is progress it is progress okay uh, the three syllable words ending in a or or ly okay they are often stressed in the beginning look at the examples orderly quietly manager we don't stress them at the end or uh, in the middle okay whenever you have uh, words ending with ik or shan or um, s-i-o-n or t-i-o-n they uh, the stress usually falls on the second to the next i mean mid syllable okay creation um com uh, commission photographic okay lost but the uh, previous one okay whenever you have words ending c y t y p y g y it falls on the uh, lost from the third syllable lots from the third syllable look at the following examples democracy logical okay it is one two three so it is the third one so it falls in the beginning logical commodity okay psychology okay whenever you have words sending c y p h y or g y uh, when you have words uh, that have more than three syllable it works in this way okay whenever you have compound nouns okay the uh, stress falls on the first syllable football keyboard okay in compound nouns the stress falls on the first syllable football keyboard okay the stress is on the first syllable okay thank you for watching uh, this video if you have any doubt regarding stress or a stress script word accent 
यू कैन ऑलवेज कॉन्टैक्ट मी एंड देर और लेक्चर वीडियोज सॉरी लेक्चर नोट्स अपडेट 